You're watching an NDTV exclusive now in the battle for the states, the Congress taking a drubbing and uh, now the war within the Congress emerging as senior leaders questioning the decisions taken by the Congress party. I'm joined uh, by Sunil Jakhar. He's a uh, senior Congress leader from Punjab. He's been the state Congress president in Punjab. Thank you very much indeed, Jakhar Saab, uh, for joining us now. Of all the states where the Congress suffered a setback, Punjab was the most severe. And you've come out quite strongly about this. But before we come to the specifics of what you said and what you tweeted, just wanted to understand from you, because this is the first chance we're getting to talk to you after that Punjab debacle, where the Congress fell from 77 to 18 seats, wiped out by the Amadi Party. What do you think fundamentally went wrong for the Congress in Punjab? First of all, thank you, Srinivasji, for allowing me to vent my feelings on your channel. Yes. There's a whole long litany of uh, problems or what you call issues which could have been handled otherwise. But uh, I, I think we went on compounding one mistake after the other. Hmm. The script for this entire uh, scenario which has rolled out in the last four or five months hmm. was, uh, I think, written by Arish, Arish Rawat ji. He came to Punjab with a set agenda. And uh, I remember very well, he was appointed just uh, a week or two weeks before Rahul ji came to Punjab for this famous trek right. yatra, even before the, all uh, the he, farmers had gone to Delhi. State, to he was the Congress in charge for Punjab, yes. He was the General Secretary in charge hmm. for Punjab. And the first meeting he had with the Congress MLAs was after Rahul ji had left on the 8th of uh, uh, s s October. Hmm. in Punjab Congress Bhavan and I, I think that day itself, if you read my statements, I will send you the clippings. I had suspected what he was up to and then only I said, if this is what he has come with a bent of mind, then might as well just why to go around in public and get Sunil Jakhand removed. What, what was his agenda? What was that agenda? His agenda he, what he called was to bring in this rough hall. He called uh, our... Uh, this now the PCC president, now Joe Singh Sidhu ji, the Rafal, that this is a Rafal of Congress and we want to, he didn't say it in as many words, but he went against me, he Sunil has not kept the party together and uh, there are many issues. So that's all fine. And I said, rather than going public, I think you should have come with a dismissal letter for me rather than coming out. In fact, I had just accepted Mrs. Gandhi's command when she asked me to continue because I had submitted my resignation. So Sunil is not the issue here. The issue was that he came with the agenda, he got it implemented at the cost of like uh, putting this bickering between Captain Saab and uh, uh, so you know, Singh No, just to understand, you're saying that his single agenda was to bring in Sidhu as I, 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 I felt so. He never shared it with him because I didn't have any much, much interaction with him. I, I, I told Khadge Saab when this meeting held that he may be in charge of Punjab Congress. But I never accepted him as my in charge because the kind of people he was associating with. And I told him on his face that I'm sorry, I, I, I do, would not like to associate with somebody who deals with these kind of people. You may be in charge of Congress, but you can't be in charge of me. It's fine. And I think he carried that grudge and whatever it played out. So, no, no, so, so what was it, the, what was, how was that disastrous for you as a party? Because you were the state in charge, yes. you were replaced, Sidhu was brought in. Yes. What, what was, how did that hurt you? No, it didn't hurt me. No, no, not yeah, hurt I, I you, felt, meaning the Congress. I'm saying. Yeah, it hurt. It because hurt it, the con like, it, it triggered a war to... between the captain and, and Sidhu? Yes, this, this kind of thing could have been handled. These, 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 these things are water under the bridge now. That, that could have been handled in a different way. We have said it time and again. There are ways and means. There has, has to be a succession plan. Even for a company also, there's a succession plan. And if we wanted to remove, it should have been all this corona and, and lack of communication and depending only on Harish Rawat or Jan Secretary in charge, I think better communication lines need so, to be established. So one, which were okay. so one big mistake was, as you said, bringing in Sidhu and that created this constant no, that, war. What was the other? No, so let's no, come to he, the next. He could have been brought in in an amicable way to if if... Like if they can now talk about who will be the CM face, 
which I think is ridiculous. After you have nominated Chenni and then the question is being raised, who will be the next chief minister? I think that was in undermining the choice of Chenni himself. And I think why did Chenni even agree to it or Sidhu agreed that does Rahul ji decide about who's going to be the CM face? Once you have a CM, you are talking about putting somebody else in his place. It's, that, it's like having a general, some general win a war for you. And then you say that you will appoint somebody else as the general after the war is done. No, this is not the way it's done. But if it, it was to be done, then he could have been told that let Captain Sahib okay. the CM, you so work that's with another... him and we will put you the CM. Right. So that's another important point you're making that once you've appointed Chenni as CM, how can you once again say that the question yeah. of who will be CM face is, exactly. thrown, is wide open and, and, and Rahul will decide. Now, let's come to the third thing about the appointment of Chenni itself which you actually tweeted, we'll put up that tweet, you tweeted a reply to an article which said the Congress top brass in Punjab pulled down Channi, who was an asset created by Rahul Gandhi. You tweeted saying an asset, are you joking? Thank God he wasn't declared a national treasure at CWC by the PBI lady who proposed... PBI is CM. Punjabi. Sorry, PBI is, is Punjabi, Punjabi lady. Yeah. He has only not, he's not been an asset, he's been a liability. His own greed, that is Channi's own greed has pulled him and the party down. Yes. Did we? I stand by every word that I've written. So, so what is this? What When you say Channi's greed, what do you mean by that? Rather than beating around the bush, Vastuji, my take is that you cannot fight corruption with corruption. This need of Badlav and everybody talking about Badlav and every like from Rawals and the likes of him, kept on saying even the MLAs, everybody joined the chorus and yeah, that there should be a change. This regime is seen as a corrupt regime and the hand in glove with Akalis. That's why the need for change in, came in. Mm -hmm. And he was brought in as a man hailing from a poor family, poor background. Yes. And then the poor guy is caught with his hand in the till 10th day of his having taken over as a chief minister. Not just 10 crore rupees in cash are found at his one of his family members place but there are another 25 crore rupees which nobody is talking about which are in his account which they have not been able to explain the, where, where where is the source of this income you are talking of so the money the very, very just to remind our viewers you are talking of the raids on on Chani's relatives on the sand mining case in which unaccounted cash was found at Chani's relatives house yes it was it it, it it shattered the kind of image Rahul ji believed in his being from a poor background. Like he placed his trust and this guy is caught red-handed. What, what more do you what more do you expect? Then this but, whole aura built about his being poor and whatnot. Whether or not credibility can be attributed to these AD raids because the credibility of the central government is also now shattered. I, like they are going no, up. No, that's every, what I was about to say. That the yeah. Congress party, the Congress party took a position that these raids are politically motivated against yes. Channi. Yes, they are. But you're they saying are, he was sir. caught with his hand in the till. Yes, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. And I was the one who said that, yes, the credibility cannot, like one cannot believe in these raids. If they were to be, uh, this guy had to be raided. This, In fact, the case on which, uh, which was registered in 2018, mm -hmm. I was the one, I was traveling with Captain Saab when this photograph of this sand mining place took place and I insisted, Captain Saab, to look down, uh, we were going from here to Shri Kartarpur Saab about the Kartarpur corridor being opened up, preparing for that. And now you are reading, we, authenticity is questionable, but okay. it shattered this image that we were trying to build upon. That, so that is what, what you meant. That, once again, Jakar sir, that's what you meant when you said that that his own greed, Chani's greed. You're referring to the 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 cash, the corruption, the allegations. It is again matter of perception, Vasuji. Nobody had seen the earlier regime being hand in glove with the Akalis. There were no meetings reported, no right. nothing in the reports or any pictures but, or any news report. Okay. Neither was any corruption. It was the perception. And the perception of this government in these last 111 days, which are touted over and over again, how do I put it? The whole clan was working as if there is no tomorrow. Let's make use of every single day, not for addressing people's concern, but to address our own uh, our own need for money. That's My it. God. I, this is as much as I can say. That is, and I that know is, 
a very serious allegation very yes, serious but this this was the perception a common man here carried short of giving an admit advertisement in the paper that if you have something to be done come to us we are here for 101 days 111 days we'll do it so this kind of a perception did us end that's a very serious allegation it is serious it is okay. a serious I'm, okay I'm let me ask you out of, i'm not put, pulling it out of my head no 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 uh, fair enough you're a senior leader but let me also ask you that you referred to the fact that a punjabi lady proposed chinese name in the first place who is this are you referring to ambika soni i'm referring why do you want me to then they will like i don't want to name because she is very senior she was the one who did it when they made him the leader of opposition at that time also i was the one who was removed and he was made the leader of opposition and now again it is she only she recommended she came up with the story that the hindu cannot be a chief minister of punjab and then they asked then and then she said no i'm not interested if you are not interested whom then she said he is a guy who's fit who will get you a vote of a certain section of society this this, this is all it transpired okay. and she had the backing of harish rawat i hold him doubly responsible he started it all he is the genesis the, the fountain head of all that has happened is harish rawat so, and i'm sorry to say i don't want to go into what you the germans we called the shade frozen but I, I i believe that divine justice has been done the kind of fate he has met in uttarakhand my god that's very strong you're referring to the fact yes, that uh, not I'm, only I'm, did the congress lose in uttarakhand but he lost his own seat um yeah that's what i'm talking about i'm talking about his seat i'm not talking about uttarakhand okay congress but let me ask party. you okay strong very strong again but uh, because i can see how anguished you are and you are venting but uh, tell me jakar sahab you are blaming harish rawat constantly you are saying he is responsible you are blaming uh, you know ambika soni chani but you have not said anything about the congress leadership itself i mean weren't all congress. these decisions hold on let me finish weren't these decisions taken fully with the sign off of the gandhi family rahul gandhi priyanka soni they all knew what was happening they were taking the ultimate big decisions I you don't hold them accountable at all yeah no i they were they were fed this information that's where rawat came in rahul gandhi was not here in punjab meeting with people here they, he was this rawat mr rawat was here for a year and a half what, what what did he do this was his job this was the job of these people who were reporting no but but she, but, but she is Siddhu, representing punjab no no but jakar sahab siddhu was going He's, to delhi he was getting himself photographed with one day rahul gandhi one day with priyanka gandhi so so is it is it fair to completely not hold them accountable at all for the as you put it the mishandling of punjab mishandling of punjab i think the all that what i can see in this if, if they had met mr siddhu for that that long then i would say they are poor judge of characters that's all they didn't know how the people are reacting to him here in punjab Rawat knew he met everybody he had long discussions he met every day he was here every other day his state helicopter was ministers were going okay, and getting from Dehradun every second day he was here virtually here rather okay. than running is, the campaign in Uttarakhand okay i, I as uh, okay you're st- you're still somewhat pulling your punches when it comes to the gandhis but i want no, to ask I have you no punches to pull against gandhis They, okay, no, okay i i you whatever i is my views i stand by them okay no, but in no in in conclusion jakar sahab as we as we start to wrap up uh you yourself said you are kind of checking out of politics you are sort of withdrawing from politics is the congress is the congress finished is can the congress still revive in punjab or is it yes yes it yes, or is the people. story over no is no nothing over because the kind of ragtag outfit which they have created aam aadmi party is not going to last long it will not even take long before their real face comes out but we have to put a credible face here not a guy who suspect a leader does not is not born or has no special trait but credibility somebody who could people or workers could rely upon and rem- let me just before you wrap up vasu ji give me one minute it was on your channel when i spoke to you and you laughed at me when i said i i do not uh, expect much from mr chenni but less hope the chair make, makes the man look what he has done to the position of uh, chief ministership is a is a constitutional position I what, don't what, know what, if I what laugh, free but... has he made of it <laughs> okay. he is but... he is milking goats there 
if, if this is the kind of icon ambika soni ji wants to put i i, I told rahul gandhi ji but but rahul ji uh, when when he was appointed and when i had a chance to travel with him here from here to delhi and i met him the next day uh, i said rahul ji i do not accept him as my leader he wanted me to be the deputy cm i said sorry i cannot even work with him i do not accept him as my leader okay. my fault is and i apologize to congress worker that rather than just thinking about me i should have prevailed upon rahul to please do not force this guy okay but jaker sir jaker sir jaker sir let me ask you this to those who may be watching this they may turn it out and say that sunil jaker sir is speaking out of a sense of personal grievance that he was removed Precisely, as the, as the state of, no no hear me out he was removed as congress state president he was not made the chief ministerial face because you were on record saying most mlas wanted you as chief minister so you are speaking out of being personally aggrieved because you didn't get yeah, those opportunities that, that's why you're I, hitting I, out i get your point sir i get your point that's precisely why i could not prevail upon rahul ji because i felt the same thing that if i say anything beyond this other than my own self he will think that i am this is a clear cut case of sour grapes sorry i i didn't i said sorry but i told him i will not accept him as my leader that otherwise which which politician of these ones which you see here would so, refuse so you are saying it's not sour when you are hitting out like this it's not sour it, it, grapes it, 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 i do not want them to compound this mistake again the way she is trying to build him as a hero a guy who has got with the hand in the till and has like that for a leader you need chal chalan charitar there's nothing which in, inspires confidence in him you want to build him as a hero as a mascot for congress sorry i i will not accept him i didn't okay. accept him then and i won't accept him now i'm giving my views i'm out of politics i'm free to say what i want to say of course of course no no of course you can say what uh, you know that's uh, but <laughs> we, congress it... worker deserves better vasu ji Okay. Congress worker in Punjab has oh. faced the atrocities of Akali BJP regime for ten years. They stood by it, put a credible face as the CLP okay. leader we'll, we'll, <laughs> of opposition and a PCC right. president, and they will still rally around him. Get right. rid of these guys, psychophants. I expected plain speaking in the CWC, but these kind of psychophants are again trying to justify their choice. This is what prompted my tweet. That's all. I don't okay. want to vilify really anybody. Fair I enough. said I'm responsible. Fair enough. Very strong words from you, uh, Jakar Sahab. Thanks uh, very much indeed. We'll of Thank course you. try and get a Congress also to respond to all this, especially your allegation that in the last months of the the month and a half, the government was seen allegation. The perception was that they were seen as simply trying to make money, and uh, that was a negative that hurt the Congress. Don't don't just ask the Congress. Ask the people of Punjab. Also, ask the sir. people of Punjab. Okay, we will do that, Jakar Sahab. but uh, thank you for coming on and and for speaking so frankly thank you very much indeed